Hi, I'm Scott Myers, and I'm a photographer. Through my 20s and 30s, I really went out of my way to avoid believing in anything that could have possibly put any sort of limitations on my desires. And by the time I was 40, I considered myself an atheist. The biggest way that my worldview showed up in my art was just in the bleakness of a lot of the images. I was really drawn to dark, run down, broken places. There was really no room for people in my photos. A lot of times there were places where people had been, but people weren't there anymore. They were gone. It was just this sense of brokenness and decay. I spent years photographing flooded houses. I thought it was fit perfectly with what I wanted to photograph. Old historic houses that had been flooded and abandoned. There was just pain in there. You could just feel it. I was drawn to that. I never saw myself as being really broken in that sense. Other than that was the end of everything. Everything ended that way. And just abandonment and decay and darkness. A world without God is dark and hopeless and meaningless. I mean, you can try to put a layer of human meaning on top of it, but in the end, it, it's all arbitrary. It's all flux and it's all moving and changing and there's nothing to really put your finger on to say, this is true, except that you will die. And that is true. That's the one truth in a world without God is that your life will end and you will suffer before then. It's a, it's a bleak, dark way to see the world. And I really feel sorry for people that continue to feel that way. I mean, I know what it was like, and it, it was just really dark. I was not happy in any sense of the word. You know, I mean, it's like I was, I was just miserable then. I did not want to uh, pass that on to my, my kids. Yes, I think something's wrong when you know, you can't or you're afraid to explain to your children the way the world works. That was one of the things that motivated me, got me thinking and reading good books and realizing that Christianity is not what I thought it was. My wife uh, brought home a copy of The Case for Easter. Um, I started reading it on a whim and was kind of shocked at the impact that it had on me. I realized that I had rejected a cartoon version of Christianity and that I had made up without ever understanding the, the real thing. I didn't have a moment when I accepted Jesus Christ. It was a process over weeks and months. I knew I was changed when I was not only comfortable, but also absolutely compelled to fall on my knees and beg Jesus to have mercy on my wretched soul. One of the obvious things that has changed in my photography, after God changing the way that I, I view the world, is color. Color just has this amazing potential to express things in a magical way that you just can't do in black and white. I think a lot of my work has gotten uh, very big and, and painterly, and a lot of it is, is really just abstract color and natural patterns and light. A lot of the subject matter for the color tends to be nature photographed in a way that kind of shows this orderly madeness of creation, how it's not randomness and it's not chaos. There is an order to it. The biggest, most dramatic change that I've seen in my photography is my interest in photographing people. I never wanted to do that before, and now that's all I want to do. The technical part of it isn't what it's about. It's about that interaction with other people. The only way that you can ever get somebody to look and give you an honest expression in a photograph is they have to open up, and they have to let down their mask, and they have to relax and, and trust me and the only way that they're going to do that is if 
I do the same thing first. I never wanted that in the past. I really, really did not want that. Because it was fear. I mean, it was it was fear that of interacting with other people that kept me from doing it. I mean, God has just totally changed my heart on it to where that's what I want to do. It's, it's almost the exact opposite of what I was doing before. And that really kind of coincides with a growing understanding of the Gospels and it's kind of developing faith and trust in, in God. The world without God is like you're down in this dank basement this dungeon and if you don't know that the sun is out there <laughs> or you deny that the sun is out there, you still have a longing for something other than the darkness. God wants to take you out of that, put you in the sun.